Hello and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Tutorial. This is part 5 and today we are going to be building the Whomping Willow and the interior of um, this thing. So, it is of a very awkward height. This is going to have to be a very high floor. So, what we're going to want to do is... Um, so like that, um, you're going to want to fill in this stone brick floor, but actually only put a stone brick slab there, so that it won't impede with the um, with with the, with the window thing. I only think I think we're only gonna have three floors or something like that. Actually, wait a second. Which block was that? Uh, um, we just have one there. Yep. So. Oh wait. Oh no, that's fine. Yep, but you're going to want to leave, you're just going to want to fill it in like this. And sorry about me slow clicking because i have actually using the D-pad and I don't have my mouse this episode, but I will be probably getting one this week. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a, a really high floor thing. And then there's just going to be stairs. Wait a second, no, that, yep, so it's... So you're just going to want to put stairs up to that. So that you can... So it's basically just a little walkway in the middle. Um, yep. And then there's going to want to be some steps down here. But first of all, is that going to be... You're going to want to put another floor in here, even though that's going to be a very small, it's not going to have much headroom, but neither is the other one, so it's because it was made wrong, but you, you're just going to want to do this anyway, because it's not going to be too bad. And then, so yeah, again... Just going to want to fill the floor in. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna want to have st um, sandstone and sandstone slabs for this for the stairway thing. Uh, yeah, and then because it's gonna be a spiral staircase. second yep basically just gonna want to go down here really hard to work with this is um doesn't seem to be working as well as I would hope it to, but we can just have it like this. Yep, this stairway looks alright, I suppose. Actually, this is looking, this is actually looking alright. And so there can be one that eye on that way and one there. 
but we'll need to half of the floor is gonna need to be cut out um, anyway that's fine um, instead of that you just wanna come out here Okay, this is turning out to be pretty complicated. <laughs> but yeah, you just want to basically have a staircase in the middle. And I'm getting a lag spike for some reason. And then, yeah, I know we're not going to have much room. But, actually, you know what, ju it's just on the bottom floor we'll need this. Because that's the only one that's basically got room. Put some torches because the others it'll be fine and then get some wooden slabs wooden slabs then sh then a few shelves just random shelves uh yeah so it's a bit of a interior tutorial interior interior in tutorial um it's not very practical you can just have a little shelf there and shelf shelf there okay so yep yeah, that's done it's pretty complicated because we didn't build it big enough but anyway still looks alright I think so there we go that's that finished and I think we'll start on the one pin willow but basically the one pin willow is actually what you want to do is extend the path um, I'll just put that back um, yep yeah, the pattern you want to go is in a zigzag shape and that will need to go to about there and then you want to also put this in a zigzag shape and that will make the path look good sounded like a lamb was just being born then um, but anyway yep I won't go over this, you just need to I just need to do this and then fill it with stone brick stone crack bricks and I'll be back when we have done with that. Going back and I've just finished filling in the path with some stone with some cracked stone brick stairs. Um, slash weather rain okay so we'll start it here shall we and it's pretty simple all you need is some wood uh, I'm gonna use spruce wood for this because I like it in this texture pack um, and you'll need some leaves and I'm just going to use the spruce wood leaves because it suits it and yeah so I'm just going to do a ginormous trunk because it is a ginormous tree and then yep build it up a few blocks which you need to do nine by nine square um and then go up uh, one two three four five six you want to go up six and if i'm going to use the 1.4.2 update where actually no it's 1.3.2 update where was it I, i'm not quite sure it was I think it was 1.3.2 update where 
you can have sideways logs I'm gonna use that to my advantage in this but not to my advantage in that way because yep so then basically just want to go off in a zigzag pattern in each direction it's, it's, it's not meant to look good this isn't it's just it's meant to be a wacky tree just a big wacky tree and some of the leaves might drop down just basically a random wacky tree if some some small branch some small leaves coming out some big leaves you might have some you might have some branches coming out then just some branches here doesn't have to look well it, it kind of has to look good but it's kind it's it's really hard to make a wacky tree look good but I'm gonna try to make this look good. Anyway I wish I wish the reach command. I've said that about a million times but that was probably my favourite bit about single player commands apart from apart from world edit. So yep, yeah, just doing this. Some of you might be wondering when we are going to be building Hagrid's hut. I'm not sure when, but I really enjoy doing, really enjoy building Hagrid's hut. Probably going to be soon. Yeah, probably going to be soon. It's either going to be after the Shrieking Shack, which we're going to be doing soon, because the secret passageway from the Whomping Willow leads up to the Shrieking Shack. But the problem is that it's all the way up into... Um, all the way up into... whatever it's called... Um, Hogsmeade. Actually, I'm not sure if in... yeah, in Hogsmeade, I think. That's what I think it is. And I know the clicking is really annoying, but you just have to deal with it until I get a m m my own mouse. And when I get my own mouse, I'll be a lot quicker lighting the crafting table and light and stuff like that. And I am going to still carry on with my Tekkit tutorials, but just not yet because I, st I just don't have any inspiration. And I know this is taking a pretty long time, but... I'm just going to bring some logs up here. So yeah, you just want to go random until it's looking pretty good. And I will skip this bit because there's no need for me really to do tutorial unless you're pretty sad and keep stopping the video every two seconds because you want to do it exactly the same as me. Which you don't have to, but... Yep, so be back in a second. Hello, welcome back, and this is the Wampin Willow. 
as you can see, made it a lot taller, and I think it looks alright, not the best, but anyway, you, you can't make everything look the best, can you? It doesn't have to be, after all, it is just a massive giant tree. So yeah, what I'm going to teach you how to do next is the the um, secret entrance for like the piston door um, from in the prison of Azkaban where um, they went through that hole and into the shrieking shack. So I've just extended on this a bit. And what you're going to want to do first is basically get a little weight and then... decide where you're going to want to put it and yep but I'm actually going to the door is going to be there so sticky piston will need to be here redstone sticky piston uh, Two sticky pistons, and um, we'll need redstone and a redstone repeater. The only thing I don't like is I don't really like the piston stuff that do this. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so behind that you are going to want to put grass a redstone repeater sorry about that, that was just a Skype message um, and then I know I am going to cover this up later it's just then we want redstone coming around the back here. And actually we can and then actually you know what? We can Oh god this is lagging out badly. Well, it's not lagging, it's just... Um, it's just not, the blocks aren't appearing. And then I want to keep going down. So this is annoying me. Okay. <laughs> so, this is being really stupid here so where is so you want to figure out where the pressure plate's going to be in my case it is going to be here and I will figure out which one will blend in better I'm thinking that the wooden one will I'm not sure why just um and then that will go there and then so to bring it up here so there we go as you can see it does that but we don't want it like that We want it so that it's closed to start with. This is annoying me. Uh, so we'll do it so that it's closed. Um, lever. Okay. And. Then we want to put the pressure plate 
here, I think it wherever it was. Sorry, just trying to figure out how this will work. Not sure about this, but... I'm just going to do it so that there's a lever, because, reason being, it's simpler. So, yep, yeah, you want to bring it down here, round here, until, and in this case, I'm going to put the lever here. So you want to bring the redstone up here. And I will cover it up for next time. Definitely. Say about the rain. Um, whoa, it's dark. So there we go. I know I know it's not covered up at all, but there we go. So this has been a humongously long one, I think. But, yeah. Anyway. Subscribe like for more. Next time, I'll have covered it up. And, yep. Yeah, and I'll be showing you how to do the tunnel underneath to the Shrieking Shack, which we'll probably make next time. Okay. So, actually, we'll, we'll probably make Hagrid's Hunt next time. But, yep. Yeah, so... Um, subscribe and like for more and bye guys